Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you my top 5 quick hitting basketball plays. So first in this 5th best, well my 5th best quick hitting basketball play, this works best against a man to man defense. So first this is your shooter and you need to get him open. So what's going to happen is player 3 is going to cut along the baseline using 5 as a screen and 2 as a screen and player 5 is also going to cut down and he's going to be screening as well. Now with player 4, depending on where player 3's man is going, if he's getting led right into player 2, let it be a big strong double screen. However, if he's starting to cheat and he sees that, well there might be an opening here, well, cut off that opening. Wherever that opening may be, cut it off. Screen for him. Just make sure you don't get a moving screen. Once player 3 gets out there, player 1 will pass him the ball. He'll dribble that way and pass him the ball. And then player 3 will shoot the 3-point shot. Now, this is one of my favorite plays. Now, let me show you another play that works best against another man-to-man -man defense. So in this fourth best play, this is a triangle offense. So we're going to have player one pass to player three, and player one is going to cut down to that low wing area. Now at this time, we are going to have player three. He's going to dribble the ball one dribble that way to initiate the offense. And what's going to happen now is player two will screen for player four, and four will come to the right to the top of the key. That is where player three will pass to player four, and player two is going to go into the low post. Now player 1 is going to use 5 and 2 as a screen, 4 is going to dribble off to this side, and 4 is going to pass to player 1 for the 3 point shot. Again this one works again best for a man to man defense. So in this third best basketball play, quick hitting basketball play, we are going to be going against a 2-3 zone, obviously this is a zone offense, and what's going to happen now, most likely what you're going to find is player 1 popping up player 3 popping up, or you might have 2 and 4 popping up a little bit, or you might have 5 pop up a little bit, whoops, uh, and then you're going to have player 2 up there, maybe 5 will be carding the mid post, something like this, or how I like to instruct my team is you've got both players up top shadowing the, the point guard, so, and then you're going to have player 4 playing up a little bit and player 3 playing up a bit. Now, this leaves the posts open and the low post to kind of just stand near the baseline, so if you can drive, you can kind of dish right down to them, but that's a totally different play, that's not this one, but just thought I would mention it. But for this one, what you're going to have, this is really good, so what we are going to have is player 5 is going to show to the high post, which is going to bring player 5 up to guard player 5 blue. Now you're going to have player 2 in the post, he's going to back screen on this wing player right here, if, especially if he is playing up higher towards that 3 point line. Even if, he's, even if he's out farther out to the wing, same idea, and at this point we're going to have player 1 dribble a little bit to this side, and we're going to have player 4, he's going to cut baseline, and he should be wide open for the nice lob. Nice, quick, and easy. I really like this play. So in this next quick hitting basketball play, this is really going to mess the other team up, especially if they are running a 2-3 zone defense. So first in this one, we're going to have player 5. Yes, player 5 is going to pop out and screen for the wing player right there, because player 1 red is going to be guarding player 1 blue, which is now leaving this whole wide spot open. Now most players are going to think that player 3 is going to go for the nice quick easy shot. Now he could, and you could run that a few times. But what we're going to have is player 3 cutting very quick, only one or two steps towards that mid area right there, and we're going to have player 2 cutting across where now he is open for the three point shot. See what I did there? Somebody from the total opposite side is now getting open for a nice open shot. That's sneaky, and I love that play. So that's the fourth play. Now going on to my fifth play, check this out. So here in this fifth play, most likely, well this is a 2-3 zone, most likely most coaches will play player 4 red up there and player 5 red in the post. Now player 4 red up here is going to be guarding player 2 kind of one step away, 
and what we are going to have this is really really sneaky so this is a 2-3 zone now it's kind of moving into a 3-2 zone so this could be also played against the 3-2 zone as well so now what we're going to have is what we are what we are going to have is player 4 he's going to be cutting up and back screening for player 1 well back screening for player 3 on player 1 and player 3 is going to cut towards the rim now instead of him cutting across, which a lot of teams will run, you're going to have him screen for player 5 who is going to now curl and see we have a block here and a block here. This is now leaving this whole wide spot open, hoping that player 5 in the post is still playing deep. So now what's going to happen is player 5 is going to cut across and player 1 is going to pass to player 2 or he could pass to player 5 if he's open now if player 5 is open for the nice shot give it to him if not pass to player 2 5 will continue out for the nice three point shot now of course this would be great and best with a center who can actually shoot not many centers out there when I was playing could shoot however now there's a lot more players who can shoot three point shots and it surprises me however these all these plays work they're pretty quick they should be ran within five to seven seconds of having the ball past half court and it's something that you can add on to your offense if you need to have a quick easy basket anyways i hope you have enjoyed today's video if you have please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time because i make these videos every single day i will see you guys next time and i hope you enjoyed if you are looking for a great basketball workout check out these victorum bands they are absolutely amazing you can attach them onto a pole you can work on your first step or where somebody can hold you back and you can run with it and work on your legs check them out in the link in the description below they are amazing